What's up everybody, I'm Kyle DeBoer. And I am Craig DeBoer. And in this video, we're gonna be discussing one of the most important topics you need to know about right now. Does a recession equal a housing crisis? Let's get right into it. Okay, a recession does not equal a housing crisis and that's not just us saying that. Let's go to Webster Dictionary and look up the definition of the word recession. A period of temporary economic decline during which trade and industrial activity are reduced, generally identified by the fall of the GDP in two successive quarters. Now, why are so many experts predicting that we'll have a recession in the next 18 months? Here's why. We're now in the longest economic recovery in American history. So, of course, there's going to be a slowdown coming. Of course. We're not going to be able to keep on going with this recovery forever. So the experts do believe that there's going to be a slowdown. And what that means is that the GDP will slow down. However, remember, what we're concerned about is that people will equate the word recession to housing crisis and will assume we're going to have the same results of what happened in 2008. Take a look at this graph. In the last recession, prices dropped 19.7%. but if we look at the four previous recessions, three of the four times, prices went up. Two of those three times, prices went up almost double the normal historical average. And at the other time that it dropped, they dropped by less than 2%. So why are we even bringing this up? Again, a lot of people think that the upcoming recession will mean a housing crisis. How do we know what buyers and sellers think? Well, we work with them every day and Realtor.com just surveyed buyers and sellers and asked them these two questions. They asked them, number one, do you think we're going into the recession? And number two, do you feel like it will be the same or worse than 2008? So here's the scary thing. So 53% do believe that we're headed into a recession and they're right. Here's the biggest problem though. 57% of those same people believe that it will be the same or worse in 2008, and they're dead wrong. But who can blame them for being paranoid about that because 2008 is just in our rearview mirror and for a lot of millennials, which may be one of our largest group of buyers, that's their only reference of a recession, which is terrible because what happened in 2008 isn't actually what happens in a recession. Again. Take a look at what the definition of a recession is. It's a period of temporary economic decline during which trade and industrial activity are reduced, generally identified by fall in GDP in two successive quarters. In short, it's two successive quarters where the GDP declines. So if the GDP is here in quarter one, and then it comes down to here in quarter two, and then here in three, that's a recession. Now, in that definition, did you see anything about a housing crisis? No. No. Because the two are not mutually exclusive. In 2008, the recession was caused by the housing crisis, not the other way around. It's a subtle difference, but very, very important. So what are the experts actually saying? What is going to trigger the recession? Number one trigger is probably going to be trade policy. Number two, they're saying it could be a stock market correction. And number three, the experts say geopolitical crisis. And when they looked for a housing slowdown in that survey, because that did come up, some people did pick that, that was all the way down at number nine. So there were eight things that were going to happen that were going to trigger a recession before they even got to the trigger of a housing slowdown. So again, in 2008, the housing slowdown and the situation in the mortgage industry caused the recession. We're not even in the top eight reasons that a recession might take place. And in 2008, tons of shady practices were happening in both the housing and the mortgage industry leading up to the recession. For example, loans were given to people who the banks knew had no shot of being able to even pay them back. That was called stated income loan. Basically what that means is the buyer would say, hey, do you see that $500,000 house there? I'd like to buy it. Sure. Well, do you make enough money to buy it? Yes, I do. Okay, awesome. Here you go. Here's a loan. <clears throat> Wait, it didn't value. It didn't appraise for 400000 Hey, Mr. Appraiser, can you make that say 500000 Yeah, sure. No problem. Awesome. All of that has been since made illegal and laws put into place to make sure that that never happens again. That's exactly why we're nowhere near a housing crisis. 
I want to leave you with the words of a well-renowned financial analyst, Morgan Housel. An interesting thing is the widespread assumption that the next recession will be as bad as 2008. Natural to think that way, but statistically, highly unlikely. Could be over before you even realize it began. Again, right now we're in the longest economic recovery in U.S. history. We're due for a recession. And like Morgan Housel said, there's a good chance it may already be over before we even realize it began. Thank you guys for watching and please share this video because we want this video to get out to as many people as possible because we do not want the media to overrun everyone with fear because that's when people start making decisions that are based on emotion and end up hurting them and their families. See you guys next time.